Hey guys, what is up? CK here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the second part to the Pokemon Go uh, map. And I'm going to be showing you how to install it. I'm going to be showing you um, from scratch how to install it. But not only that, it's got some nice new features. It's the developer branch that's always being added to. It's got a lot of uh, bug fixes that hopefully you guys will kind of understand now and hopefully won't have so, so many issues because you'll see what I'm doing. Um, the only thing is, it, but basically off the knowledge that you have Python and Pip. So let's start from there. Um, basically, come to this video. I'll, I'll link it in the other video as well. But uh, in this video, sorry. And we're going to go to this link here. Uh, download Python, and you're going to get Python 2.7. And you're going to install it. Uh, to download it, install it. Pretty obvious then what you want to do is you want to right click save link as and call it get pip and uh, it's a python file so it will be called .py anyway uh, save that then once you've got python installed and you've downloaded this you double click the file that you've downloaded here so you download the uh, get pip and you r double click the get pip and it should run in python uh, which will open up a cmd and will install pip that's where we're starting off so uh, it will open up a cmd box install stuff perfect okay so let's start off so basically this is the new map it looks about the same for now so you go up here and you've got a filter you can display gyms, add notifications, hide certain Pokemon, show the scanned area, but you can't actually see that right now because I'm not running it, so it's not updating. But uh, it's pretty goddamn cool. So let's get started. So first, what we actually need to do is we need to get an API key. So if you go in the top of the description, you will see uh, a link to get your Google Maps API key. What you're going to do is you're going to click here get a key and you'll be brought to a page where it's a bit like this it will, might not look the exact same but basically you're going to create a project you're going to click continue hey you i think you'll have to agree to some terms but that's pretty obvious So as we wait for this, you'll see that it's in here, it's spinning around, doing stuff, and then there we go, it says enabling API, and then it's going to load any second. Okay, so now you're on this page, which it should always look like this, then you're going to basically name this whatever, like Pokemap or something, um, and then click create, you don't need to put anything in this box here, just click create. A pop up will pop here, and it'll just tell you your key. You copy and paste that note that down somewhere in a notepad or whatever. I'll just keep it open, um, and you can move on to the next step. So, the next step is um, the GitHub. So, the next link down in the description will be GitHub, which is the developer branch. So, last video we did it on the master branch, which is the older version, which is now no longer supported. This one has a lot more features in it and is being updated like daily and that's even an understatement so what you're going to do is you're going to go clone or download and download the zip so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it to my desktop like so and let's minimize this this is it here uh, let's just delete this because this is a practice run that I did what you're going to do is you're going to double click it if you've got WinRAR it should pop up here, you can just simply drag that folder there perfect and open the folder, so this looks like the old one if you look on the YouTube video uh, you will see somewhere oh my beautiful voice you'll see this is what it looks like, it looks pretty much the same but there's a few different changes and a few extra steps that we need to actually take so what we're going to do is first we are going to go into 
config and I'm going to show you two files but we only actually need to do one thing right now so you'll see here that there is this config file so this is currently not in use um, but it's quite useful that's what I'm going to say um, eventually this will be used so that you can put in your um, settings instead of in a command line and it will run using these settings so for example if you're using a Pokemon club you will use PTC in this part here and if you're using a Gmail account you will put Google here then you put the username and password if it's a Google account you put your Google email search settings so this is the step setting so if you saw in other stuff where it said ST7 that's the step rate um, that it actually searches for Pokemon location that's the location that you want the icon to be like where your search is centered um, a time delay before starting a new scan one uh, that's your default and then misc so this is host like so ports and your Google API key which is what we just got however you don't actually enter it just in here right now um, what you want to do is when it comes to this credentials file the JSON file right click it open with um, and if it doesn't say notepad here then choose other, another app and then find notepad well, basically it's going to open this it's just going to ask for the gmaps key so you're going to click in between these two quotations I'm going to slide this off right now so I can actually get my google maps key um, without you sneaky devil seeing it And then once you've copied and pasted it in between those two quotations, you're just going to click file, save and close it. And then let's go back over here. Perfect. Let's minimise that for now. Perfect, so that's a step done. Uh, so then now what we need to do is we need to install pip again. So uh, you'll remember if you saw the first video when we installed python it creates this folder in local disk c python 27 that seems to be the default install place um, and you want to hit the scripts folder in there and you'll see i've got loads of pip files now this is because i've already installed them but i'm going to install them anyway because it's just going to basically say that i've already got them um, but it'll start downloading, it'll say different stuff for you but it'll say that it's all successful and if it's not successful then it's something else that's caused in the error um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this folder where all the config and stuff is uh, that we downloaded from github going to shift right click open command window here and this means that we're working in this folder so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to file explorer we're going to go to back to the scripts folder in python 27 we are going to click on the pip 2.7 once and then you're going to see here um, you should have this copy path you can click that and it's going to copy the path if you don't have that button you can right click here and copy address as text and all you need to do is add on the pip 2.7.exe onto the end of it so back in here so we're going to control v and that gives us our location so c python 27 scripts pips <laughs> pip 2.7.exe and um, then we're going to type install dash r requirements.txt and hit enter now we give it a minute and it will start to install stuff so it's saying here I've already got all this stuff, so it was really quick, I've already got all this stuff, because I've literally installed it a minute ago, um, but it'll take a little bit longer for you guys, and then when it's done, it'll just print out this location that it printed out when we first opened the command uh, window, so that's how you know when it's finished. If there's any errors, let me know, leave them in the comments, and uh, I'll try to do what I can to help you, um, however, it maybe because you have python 3.5 which you do not want uh, you want python 2.7 so once that's done great now uh, we can close that window 
and we can actually open up a new uh, command window just to keep it fresh and we're going to actually run things now so what we want to do is we want to get the python directory so we go back to the script folder we can go back one back here so we're just in the python 27 folder and you'll see python.exe here just the application again copy path if you don't have that button copy address as text then add python.exe to the end of it um, so apparently you know just like this so if I didn't have it it'd be just python 27 and then this and then I'd add the python.exe uh, to make sure there's slashes in between um, so what we want to do now is it used to be example.py but that's not the case anymore it's now run server.py then we want to type dash a so this is authentication service so like I mentioned earlier in the config file uh, you've got either Google or PTC like so so if it was Google right and we would type a username so type, type slash not slash dash u this would be your username but as it's Google it'd be like an email it'd be like uh, uh, email at gmail.com okay so the email is like obviously your custom part it's just an example um, and then you would also do with that there you'd also do dash p and type a uh, password but it'd be your password so uh, test password one two three sort of thing um, so you'd have both of them filled in but if you want PTC this is your Pokemon Club account that you need to make a bit prior and um, there'll be a link in that again in the description you just make a Pokemon Club account this can be the one you're using but it's advised that it's not um, there's a bit of rumour going around that you can get banned but no one actually has uh, so just to be safe I'd use it create a dummy account or use a google account that has nothing to do with your pokemon go account uh, but it's not required because for example I use a google account on my pokemon go game but I, I'm using a pokemon club account for my map if that makes sense so yeah uh, so we're going to do a PTC, so Pokemon Club account, we're going to do U and P. So I'm going to come back to the username and password, but just for example to show you, uh, example username and then example password. Okay, cool. And then we're going to do, let's actually bring this out a bit bigger. Perfect. Um, we're going to do dash L so that's not a one that is an L for location you're going to do two quotations uh, go back arrow so you're in the center so you can type in the middle alternately you can just do one uh, quotation and you can either type a coordinate um, a bit like this example here which is a location uh, coordinate but you can also do the actual name because it's Google Maps so you do Santa Monica Pier uh, California USA and then close it off with some more quotes uh, let's bring this a bit bigger again cool um, but a little tip for that so if I open a new tab go Google Maps Google Mapos yes exactly that's what I meant uh, and you type something so you say Santa Monica um, and say you get the pointer uh, let's see how do I get this uh, say if you let's see you click on this here and it'll bring up this pointer here you'll see this here this little icon you can just basically copy and paste that straight in and 9 out of 10 times it's going to find the correct location 
so that's good then what you need to do now is uh, type st oh st and this is the step rate which we had in the last one as well I recommend 7 uh, briefly to explain it that is how far away from the centre location for example how far from here so that's 7 steps like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and it'll bring like a radius and it'll basically find Pokemon in that radius but be aware the higher that number is so it's further away the way it works is it finds Pokemon gradually outwards so it starts at the centre and makes it way out it's way out the longer it takes to get from here um, the longer it's going to take to get back to the centre and update those in the centre Just so you've got to keep that in mind like if you want these to be up to, up to date as much as you can have a short distance so you can get back there quickly because I mean that's not really a short distance anyway you can put 7 and it's going to cover a nice area um, so I recommend 7 so let's do that ST7 perfect then what we need to do is we need to do a dash capital H I'm going to do space and 0 .0, 0 0 and this is to do with hosts and IPs the default is this if you want to start looking into making hosts work on different IPs and stuff like that you can on the discord or on the reddit or on the wiki there's a little bit on there for now I'm going to try to keep it simple and just get this map working on PC then you can type dash capital L so not lowercase L because lowercase L is location capital L is locale EN so that's like language so I'm forcing the language to be English uh, you can find more stuff in the folder somewhere with the locale file that tells you the location location languages that are available so EN is what I'm going for um, and then we can run it so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and drag this off here and change the username and password to my actual username and password but just making sure you can't see it um, so let's type that in real quickly and we hit enter now it's going to log you in which obviously you can't see right now but it's going to attempt to log in and then if it works successfully it's going to say log into Pokemon Go successful or to Google successful and it's going to start scanning for Pokemon so it's basically going to spam uh, that it started so then if we go to the local host so the, dis the link will be in the description it's local host um, hyphen 5000 uh, if we just refresh this page You'll start to see Pokemon are popping in, which is awesome. Um, so you can change, you can change the mode of the map, you can change it to satellite, to dark, I quite like the dark actually. Light 2 or Pokemon Go, oh my god it's a Pokemon Go map, that's awesome. So this is the centre location that we set and it's basically gradually going out, you can see Pokemon uh, popping in. Um, so here you can see your location, you can actually change your location, so I want it to go Santa Monica, it's going to actually change it to there, um, and it should start basing it off this point in a minute. Um, yep, see so it's starting to spawn them around here now, and all these are staying here, but it's not going to spawn anymore here, until if unless this radius reaches it. But these will disappear. So as you can see, when I'm hovering over them, like the old version, it tells you the name, the Pokedex entry, and how long it disappears, how long you've got left, and you can get directions from your actual uh, point over here. And you go to filter, so you can enable and disable gyms. So you can see all the gyms here. It actually tells you who owns the gym. So you can see over here on Santa Monica Pier, it's owned by Mystic right now. And just by the by this, you can see like Mystic and Valor are like dominating right now. And you can show Pokestops as well, which is just gonna totally oh, it's that's mental. 
uh, but it, you'll notice it actually shows a pink thing around the lured ones and it'll tell you when the lure expires which is really cool uh, so we can disable them uh, do it twice for safe measure because they seem to bug out otherwise a little bit buggy I say it's developmental but it'll be fixed don't you worry just be patient with it and keep flicking it on and off until it works like this um, and then you can do scan location so basically what this is going to do it's going to show you how much in radius it is being scanned you can see here it's overlapping because of location change and overlap um, kind of a bit spammy but it's just kind of good to know where you're actually reaching if you know of a few hotspots and you can select to hide a few potion, uh, Pokemon so we have a Zubat here yeah we don't want Zubats we've already got tons of Zubats so you type Zubat click it oh the Zubats don't show uh, so you can notify Pokemon so you get a notification so you get a little pop up and it'll say do you want to allow notifications yes we do so we're going to add another Pokemon so say uh, oh god what's, what's common what is common Ekans it seems so we'll wait a minute for an Ekans to pop up. Hopefully it does. Please say it does quickly. Uh, but we'll see. So it's basically currently spamming. Look, there you go. A wild Ekans appeared. And basically can equip it to load them up. But yeah, it's not showing you exactly, but you'll find and basically loads of new Ekans have spawned. Oh yay, fun times. Um, so let's go and remove Ekans. We don't want Ekans, but we want Charizard, that's for sure. Uh, let's get oh, These notifications have pop built up. That's how. What? Okay, bug, bug alert. Uh, it seems like. No, we're good. Okay, awesome. I, shot, I guess there was a lot of Ekans to be fair and it just basically notified me of, of them all <laughs> um, so yeah it's basically running perfectly so if you have any issues let me know uh, make sure you put in the gmaps key into the uh, json file in the credentials um, and that's about it so if you like this update please go show them support uh, and if you found it helpful, leave a like on the video and subscri uh, subscribe, whatever. Leave a comment. Let me know that it worked for you so we know that it's overall working for people. But as I say, if you need any help, let me know. And I'll try to be as active as I can. And as as I have been on the last video, um, but hopefully you'll have a lot more luck with bug fixing and stuff with this. So Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.